Welcome back to Reality Talks with Terrence, where we don't pick sides, we pick reality. And the reality is this, NBA Youngboy is now expecting his eighth child. And I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, what's the issue with him having another baby? What's the issue with him bringing another beautiful soul into this planet? I'm going to tell you why. NBA young boys, eighth child, this is another child that's going to be in a fatherless home. All right? This is another child who is going to have to grow older with the heartache and with the pain that a lot of us have dealt with over the years by growing up in a one-person household. I remember when I was younger, my grandparents used to always tell me, don't have a child outside of wedlock. I would always think that the only reason why they were saying that is because it was about religion. It was about believing in Jesus. It was about believing in Allah. You know, whatever it is that faith that you and your family believe in, I used to always think they would say that because it has something to do with church. But as I get older, I realize it has nothing at all to do with church or religion, right? Because as I get older and I had a child at a well lot, there has been nothing but, you know, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of arguments, a lot of back and forth, a lot of uh, going to court, fighting for custody, just a lot of pity, pat, a lot of petty life shit, man. And the reason why your parents tell you or your grandparents tell you don't have a child outside a well lot is because when you have a son or a daughter, you're supposed to be in that house with them every day. Your son, your daughter supposed to see you every day loving on their mom, respecting their mom, right? You know, providing for the house and vice versa, right? You know, your son and daughter supposed to see the mom loving on the father, respecting the father, showing them this is how you live. This is the type of man you get. This is the type of woman you get, right? And people don't realize, man, when a child is growing up without the mom or the dad, even if you get to see them, without that, without that, that power, that good, that energy in the household of having the father in the house, it really destroys the little boy, the little girl. This is why a lot of little girls grow up and they have uh, daddy issues, right? This is why a lot of women grow up and they don't know how to uh, be a wife. They only know how to be bitches and hoes, sluts. Right. They don't know how to deal with a man. They don't know um, the mentality of a man or what you got to deal with when, when they coming home every day from work. And I'm not saying do everything a man says. I'm saying on the mental standpoint of having a male in the house and and what it feels like and what it looks like to have a male in the house. Right. This is why you have so many women want to run around and be like the Cardi B's and the Meg the Stallions and all these type of. Yeah, because I ain't, ain't no ain't no father figure there. Right? I'm going to do this to a man. I'm going to do it to a man. Only a crazy person talks like that. But I'm saying this to y'all. A person like NBA Youngboy, I have no respect for a person like that. Why is this? A person who runs around and just placing babies all over the world, placing babies with multiple women, um, that's a person who has no regard for life. Uh, that's a person who doesn't care about um the little boy or the little girl growing up without their father in the household. All that shit's cool that, you know, you got money and uh, the money ain't going to stop the pain. The money is not going to stop the mental that the kids got to grow through, right? Because at the end of the day, yeah, you had a, yeah, you having a baby with this woman, but guess what? By you not being in the household, that leaves the door open for other man to come in the house, be around your daughter. Right. And I don't know if you guys know the statistics, but a lot of women and a lot of young girls are being molested every day. And a lot of older women will contest to you and say, hey, yeah, when I was this age, my uncle touched me. You know, you know, when I was this age, you know, my mom had a boyfriend. He used to come in my room. He used to touch me. And I couldn't say anything because I was so fearful that the man would do something to me and my mom. Right. So at the end of the day, man, like I said, these these are the type of dudes that uh that uh that uh i despise right not that i don't i don't know him personally but guess what but i can also judge him on the actions that he do right and the person who's doing that man you a piece of shit bro 
eight kids, and that's the same thing with DMX. Piece of shit, bro. The whole world loved DMX, but his family. You, you know you know how much trauma that the, the family had to put up with? The sons, the daughters, right? You 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 know you know you know all the heartache that DMX put his family through, and they still got to go through it. You know, they got to look at it like, damn, my dad was my dad 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 a weak man. He dad a dope head. He dad a, he dad a, a drug addiction, right? He dad a overdose, right? And then before he left, right? He was making us down on the inside by putting us through the bullshit. That making us look bad. And I don't think a lot of y'all realize, right? I don't I don't know if you guys grew up or have been through um uh relationships with your parents or with your grandparents or, or a loved one who has been uh, addicted to drugs. Um mentally it hurts you. It breaks your heart, right? And people that do drugs don't realize why they going through, you know, they drug addictions and they ups and downs. Also, the people that's connected to you go through it also. They going through the ups and downs too. With you, with the heartbreak, right? Every day, uh, am I gonna get the phone call that my mom's dead, my dad's dead, they OD, they found my mom. Am I gonna get a call that, damn, somebody killed your mom while she was prostituting? People don't realize, man, what that really does to the kids, man. And at the end of the day, like I said, the NBA young, NBA, NBA dumb boy just had a baby with Floyd Mayweather's uh, daughter. Now here it is months on down the line and he got another baby on the way. You know, I, I, I really just don't understand. And like I said, I look at it like this. That's a whole lot of sex without a condom, right? That's a whole lot of sex without a condom, right? I'm 32 years of age. I just had my second child. I'm done. I just had a beautiful little girl and I'm married, right? I'm, I, I'm cool. Because I told myself that going through everything that I went through in that in that first relationship with my son's mom, I told myself I will never have another child at a wedlock. I will never have another child where I can't come home every day and my child ain't in the house. Where I can't come home every day and be a real father to the child that's in the house. Yeah, I need to see my kids every day. Right? All that's cool. I get them on the weekends. Area. I, I don't want to be that type of father. I want to be a real father. Right? That, 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 that truly has a real effect on my kids. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot that comes with that weekend daddy shit. And that's what the NBA young boy dude is going to be. I'm not saying he can't be a good father. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying when you truly love a woman, you don't do women like that. You just don't go put five, six, seven kids in a woman. Because at the end of the day, we all understand life. And life is this. Life is hard. And we all trying to grow physically and mentally as one. And then when you put a ton of kids into a woman, right, and you stunting her growth, you stun her from becoming the best person she can most possibly be because she's trying to raise fucking five kids. Right? I'm a type of man that I respect women so much that I would never do a woman like a woman like that. I'm going to fill your heart with joy and not your womb. Right? We don't need fastest kids. You know, we can have the same amount of good times with one or two. Right? Because we all know them kids is going to want to go to college. We all know them kids is going to need uh, life insurance money. We all know that them kids is going to have, going to need, going to need guidance, going to need help all through life. And when you got so many floating around, man, um, a lot of times, uh, some of the kids ain't, ain't going to get the help that they truly need in life because you're so focused on the one or two, what, or three or four. So if you're a young man, and if you're a man in general, let me tell you this. Don't be like an NBA young boy. Don't be running around having all these kids with multiple women. You need to calm down. You need to chill. And you need to sit back and really understand life. And understand, hey, man, you don't do that. And number two, you don't do that to yourself. Because if you out here having kids outside of where a lot, guess what? All them women going to put you on child support. And it's going to be a lot of money coming out your check. And then you're going to be running around somewhere mad at the world because you can't come up. Because your funds is low. Don't be like an NBA dumb boy. 
He has no regard for life. He doesn't respect women. And ultimately, he doesn't respect himself. Because when you respect yourself, you know every decision that you make is going to benefit your life or destroy your life. I love y'all. Peace.